Yes, thank you very much, uh, Assemblymember Lara, Senator Dutton, nice to see you. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to uh, say a few words. I want to thank you for your leadership. I want to thank the committee, and I especially want to thank Elaine Howell and her fine staff for uh, another comprehensive uh, report that helps point the way to better governance here in California. Um, these findings to me, and I think to all of us, are more than troubling. The lives of school children are literally put in danger by an agency that seems to show no sense of urgency in protecting our kids. This is a commission whose job is not just to push paper. It has a sacred duty to keep our children and their parents out of harm's way. We're talking here about innocent kids who could be hurt, who could be scarred for life when this commission doesn't do its job. There are six million kids in the school system and their families who count on the commission every single school day. But based on the findings, the agency has clearly lost sight of its most important task. It's a state agency that in my view has simply lost its way. Uh, this enormous backlog, 13,000 reports of arrest and prosecutions piling up unprocessed in the summer of 2009. When I think of this huge stack of paper representing so much danger, the, the alarm bells cry out. As a leader of the Senate, as a legislator representing Sacramento, and, and yes, as a father with children in public school, um, I asked for this audit because one of my constituents, Attorney Kathy Carroll, who you will hear from today, was willing and felt compelled, in fact, to embrace the same duty that this commission has not been able to has not been able to embrace. She knew children who were put at risk by the behavior in the commission's division of professional practices. She knew that by blowing the whistle, she would put her own job at risk. And in fact, that's exactly what happened. The overwhelming majority of hardworking teachers and school employees are capable, caring, and devoted to educating and protecting our children. They too depend on this commission to take misconduct allegations seriously and were warranted to take swift and decisive action. There's a silver lining here. The silver lining in my view is uh, this audit exposes the importance of the legislature's commitment to oversight. A vigilant commitment to oversight has been and will continue to be a driving force in the state senate. This is a clear example where proper oversight has a direct impact on the health and safety of California families. And we know with term limits, in a few years, all the current members will be gone. It is essential we implement legislative institutions of oversight and outcomes. In the coming weeks, we will consider legislatively reorganizing this office and function. We will consider statutory changes necessary to ensure that the commission handles complaints in a timely manner. We will do this because it's obvious protecting our children must be a top state priority. Assembly Member Lara, Mr. Chairman, uh, thank you again for taking this on. And uh, we look forward to partner partnering with you to see the essential improvements made. Thank you.